a flat earth idiot believes he's got an experiment which shows how the sun can set on a flat earth. This I've got to see. One of the biggest problems with Flat Earth is explaining sunrises and sunsets. Today we're going to have a look at an experiment that's been carried out by a Flat Earther that he believes explains how this all works to us. I predict a big fat fail. When will these guys ever realise that they're flogging a dead horse? I will however give him 10 out of 10 for actually trying something and posting it on YouTube. Another group of people who deserve 10 out of 10 and my amazing patrons. With massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons D Pep, Crispy Bacon, Andy Sibley, Globa Mum, Sy Allen, and Sephuric, and my latest patrons Gemini Luna, Jason Blackford, Colin Field, and Scott Emmett O'Donnell. Thank you all so very much. So, who is this man of the moment? Who is this person who is going to prove that sunsets work? on a flat earth. Who is this master of Dunning-Kruger? It's none other than D-I-T-R-H, Ditter, Dirth, Dirt. You know the guy. Anyway, I believe you have a question that you think you're going to answer. Roll VT. Well, that's a very good question and one that has been much on my mind in recent times. So, how can it set on a flat earth? Cool, looking forward to this. Okay, here I am. This is my flat earth counter. Well, that looks like a perfect model of a flat earth. It continues on into the far distance. So is the flat earth about 15 feet across then? I have my camera filming across the surface, slightly above it. Dick, can I suggest that you stop before posting this on YouTube and look like an idiot. Oh, too late. This line here is the path of the sun. And I have this bottle here to show you that it's just over, whoops, just over three fingers above it. So I guess we're going for quite a local sun then. As we go down, we have our assortment of fruit. Tropical forest. Oh blue glass cutting board and some more beer I assume you've had quite a few before doing this experiment mountains if you will as the Sun continues to the end three fingers we have a level line I'm going to flip the camera around stick it here I'm going to dim the lights so that they match everything else that's dim in that kitchen and travel Okay, time for a quick recap. He has his kitchen counter with various objects on it representing mountains and such like. He also has a line strung along a distance above his flat earth to represent the path of the sun. And now he's going to demonstrate that sun travelling along that path and show us how the sun will set on a flat earth. This is not to scale. No sh Sherlock. And I could do this much higher if my kitchen was just twice as long. And we will get the same effect. I come to the end, to the firmament, and we stop. Well, that's all very well, but I was hoping that you would show us what it looks like when you're standing on a flat earth. Oh, it looks like you're quite good at this. So here we go. I'm going along the sun's path, keeping it level to the flat earth. Heading past the mountains. Now, if this was truly the flat earth, I'd have much more 
distance to go, and I can even have this much higher to get the same effect. We're just finishing. Okay, let's see that again in close up. I may take a couple of snapshots. Brilliant. I suppose you better prove to us that your counter really is as flat as the earth. I'm going to remove all of the bumps on the earth. Oh, that I am above the counter. Flat earth. I'm going to slide it along a perfectly smooth flat earth. And I'm guessing that it doesn't set. Now I wonder why that would be. And so does your head, and I think that you need to have your bumps felt. To show that I am above the counter of the flat earth, I'm going to just slide this along a perfectly smooth flat earth. And I'm guessing that it doesn't set. So you've done your experiment. Now let's have the results. Well, I can see one or two problems with this. First of all, let's look at a couple of those snapshots I took earlier on. The first one was taken while the sun was quite high overhead. The second one, when it was just about to go behind your mountains. Let's just superimpose them. As your sun moves further away from you, due to perspective, its angular size changes. It's quite plain to see that as it's gone further away, it appears smaller. Your problem is that our sun does not. During the course of a day, its angular size does not change. That's a fail. So already your model does not reflect reality, but there's more. I assume in your model of fail, the sun carries on at a constant velocity. That means that as it moves further away, due to perspective, it will apparently slow down. But we know that that's not the case. We know that the sun moves at 15 degrees per hour because that's the speed that the earth rotates. Thanks Bob. Now your model shows the sun setting behind mountains. If the path of the sun is taking it towards mountains it will set behind those mountains just like your image. So in reality we do see the bottom half of the sun cut off by mountains and other lumps and bumps on the earth. So what about the ocean? You flat earthers are always trying to use water finds its own level as proof of a flat earth. So if you have that ocean, that is the equivalent of your counter in your model without all the lumps and bumps on. So you can busy yourself sliding your sun up and down your kitchen counter. It will never set. There are no lumps and bumps on the ocean. There are no mountains for that sun to be cut off by. So how do you think it happens in reality? The angular size of the sun doesn't change because it's basically exactly the same distance away from us throughout the entire day. As the earth rotates and at the end of the day, the sun does get hidden. It disappears from the bottom up, sometimes because it's hidden behind mountains, other times because it's just hidden beyond the curve of the earth. But despite your experiment to show us how the sun can set on a flat earth, you know the truth, because when you moved your mountains out the way to replicate your flat ocean, what did you think would happen about the sun setting? And I'm guessing that it doesn't set. So I would say RH. that you have just debunked the flat earth, you silly goose. Until next time, stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.